Ready to go then for the retro final here at Glosso. Tony Lynch versus Terry Moore off the start. Then it's the rear wheel drive MR2 of Lynch who gets the whole shot and gets the advantage down in towards the first corner. But Terry Moore in the light agile mini will try a mountain attack if he is able to do so. Coming through into turn two, he has a half look here up the inside, but I don't think he's going to be close enough. Indeed, he's not. He goes back into the wheel tracks then of the MR2 through into the left hand. A little bit wide there on the exit, but the grunt of that uh, MR2 is doing good things there for Lynch. He's just allowing him to extend an advantage. Simon Hart there, you can see in the background, in the Mark 1 Ford Escort in third place. So through onto the longest of the straights we come here. And you can see here, Terry Moore's really getting his elbows out. Great drive out of there as he pulls alongside Tony Lynch in towards the final corner. Can he mount an attack? Can he hold it around the outside? This will be a brilliant move here from Terry Moore if he can. And he does. He's through into the race lead at the start of lap two. What a great bit of overtaking, a great bit of opportunist driving there from Terry Moore as the Mini leads the way in a big old slide as well for Lynchy coming out of turn one. That's going to really put him on the back foot and giving a bit of cause for concern. I wonder if he'll just keep it a bit more careful and a bit more on the straight and narrow, but you can already see what that mistake has meant because it's allowed Moore to pull out, what's that, four or five car lengths already on this second lap. And this will be... Uh, a good result nonetheless for Lynchy in second place in terms of his championship challenge uh, coming into this event because if we look at the retro class championship, well, it's a very interesting affair because Lynchy holds 68 points, whereas his nearest rival, Simon Hart, who is in third place in this Mark 1 Ford Escort, is on 56 points. So, of course, those two finishing in second and third place respectively would be beneficial there for Tony Lynch. So though the win will be what he wants to achieve, if it's not quite going to be the goal that uh, he will be able to have, I'm sure a podium finish and crucially more points in the championship will matter there for Lynchy. In terms of the uh, racing here today, Tony Lynch has been great, but not quite as fast as this man here, Terry Moore in that mini has been absolutely on a charge you can see it there sliding the car coming through a bit of lift off oversteer in that machine as he comes through the final corner and look at that he's just absolutely on rails like he's in a different postcode compared to Lynchy coming through the right hander in the first corner onto the gravel and then flicking it into the left you can see here a great demonstration of driving as he flicks it over the left, just avoiding the curbs. You can see a bit of understeer being kicked up there in the latter part of the corner, and then back on to the power. And this, of course, is where the track, I should say, opens up, but opens up comparatively compared to uh, some of the faster circuits we visit in the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship. This is certainly one of the slower ones, but it is a technical challenge of the drivers seemingly getting to grips with it, especially and it was in the race lead of Terry Moore as he comes across the timing line, ready to start the final lap. The gap ever increasing. More than number 74, Lynchy still circulating in second place in the Toyota MR2. Simon Hart in that Mark 1 Ford Escort, third in the championship, third in the uh, second championship, I should say, for Simon Hart, third in this race for him for the time being. Again, crucial points on the board there for him. A little bit of a struggle for traction there for Terry Moore as he comes through turn two gets the car straightened up. That's the difficulty for a front-wheel driver. Of course, you're asking the wheels to do the steering and you're asking it to put the power down. So when you've got lock-on, the car just wants to push itself wide. And that's what Terry Ball was struggling with there on the exit of the corner. But through into the final corner, it is his first win of 2022. Terry Ball takes the spoils in the retro class final here at Glosso from Tony Lynch in the MR2 in second place. And it will be third and last in this race for Simon Harper. Crucial points in his championship challenge as well.